In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get your old Quick Time 7 back if you're running Quick I mean if you're running Snow Leopard, how to get it back and uh, you could have Quick Time 10 and Snow Lep uh, and uh, 7 on your same computer. So here uh, the only reason why you'd want to do this is if you have a pro account. All you have to do is go. To, uh, pretty much, I use it. I go to Show Movie Properties and I use it to put a watermark on my videos. So all you have to do is insert your Snow Leopard CD. Go to Optional Installs and open up the Optional Installs package. Click Continue, Continue, Continue. Agree. And then this examining disc shouldn't take too long. For me, the first time it took a while. Uh, so here you have an option to uh, install QuickTime 7, Rosetta. I don't think Rosetta installs automatically. Uh, iPod support, I'm not sure what that uh, does for you. And if you accidentally delete I, uh, address book, iCal, iChat, iTunes, Mail, Oxford Dictionary, Safari, and X11. If you accidentally delete those, then you could get them back uh which they should have system preferences because my friend the other day deleted system preferences uh it took a while to get that back so i don't see why they don't have that on there but yeah all you have to do is uh click on quick time 7 click continue and it should install so that was just a real quick tutorial on how to get quick time 7 back with snow leopard